Hello, it's Tuesday, August 15th of 2023, and today I'm here at Tetuan Station in Barcelona, Spain to ride all of the lines on the Barcelona Metro. I'm just going to start with some ground rules. I will be riding all of the train lines in Barcelona that start with the letter L. This includes all of the traditional metro lines and the FGC Metro, but not any trams, external funiculars, rodalia services, or S lines. The current southern and northern sections of lines 9 and 10 respectively will be counted as separate lines. So behind Behind me is the Praça de Tetuan, right here, and I think I'm going to start off with a cheeky little elevator ride. The buttons are very well labeled. So I entered the station with this 10 journey ticket, which is way cheaper than buying single tickets. Okay, I need to go this way, take the train to or towards Badalona, which I think is really funny. I'm gonna just take it to Gorg, which is also a funny station name. That's quite a few stops. It's very empty here. Next train is in four minutes 30, which is quite a while actually for the Metro here. I really like how the benches run along the entire platform. That was a very nice metro train, and it was all walkthrough, but I've come to realize that most European metros are. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's the same train model, or at least the same train family that is used on the Brussels metro, because the end of car driver camps and the hallways or the vestibules in between the carriages look very similar. The only major differences I can see is one, the seating layout, and also that the train here is overhead powered instead of third rail powered. Okay, now to line 10, or should I say line 10 north. Ooh, this is new. Oh wow, this is really cool. I did not realize that line 10, which I did know it was the newest line, but I didn't realize it had full platform screen doors, which is really cool. I find Catalan so funny. It's like they cut off some parts of where it's direccio. So I'm gonna take line 10, three stops to Bon Pastor, where the connection with line nine is. Or should I say the first connection with line nine, because they do run on the same tracks, they interline. Next train in three minutes. In the future, lines 9 and 10, when they merge, they will continue up through here, all around here, and connect back to the existing line 9 and 10 south sections here at Zona, Univers Zona Universitaria and Col Blanc, and continue down. This is actually super interesting. The line 10 train uses the exact same model of train as the line 2 train that I was just on, but it's modified to be automatic. Huh, we're switching to the right side. I guess this line is right-hand running, but line two was left-hand running. That's strange. This train has a very similar next stop screen, but there are green lights too, and the upcoming stop is orange. The camera does not pick this up very well. Oh wait, I just realized that the other side is underneath us. Huh. We're like on top of the other line. This is a very big tunnel. So I only plan to go three stops, but this is very interesting. So I think I'm gonna go all the way to the end and then take line nine back at La Sagrada. Correction, La Sagrada. This is a very interesting construction because the stations are like part of the tunnel. So the station boxes are inside of the existing borehole, which is very unique. Five car stop because most trains here are five cars long. I still think this is such a weird line. Like, look how big the tunnel is compared to the track. Oh, there's where line 9 merges. I guess the stacked layout makes it easier for lines 9 and 10 to merge and diverge. Ooh, now the station platform is on the other side. Look how many more people could be standing than sitting. <laughs> Take line nine all the way 
way to Fondo, and then I'm gonna take line one all the way back to where I am. <laughs> so it'll essentially be the longest way to get from these platforms to this platform. <laughs> Three minutes to go. It's like an airplane taking off here. I was thinking, since this is not the end of the line, there's probably a platform below me right here that's closed that will be used in the future. Love the colors at the end of the hallway, but this is my train, so probably should go in. It's so much cooler in the train. And we're off. Kind of back to where we were, but not exactly. Although lines 9 and 10 are very cool, I've realized that the speeds are not the fastest. I also like how the buttons have doors. Sorry, the doors have buttons. Did I say... <laughs> yeah, but they open automatically. Wow, this is a very cool station, but now to line 1. Wow, look at this. <laughs> This is so cool. It's like this elevator room. It's like where they dug down to build the station. They're like, huh, since we already dug this, let's just put elevators here. I guess you get dropped off here in the back and then you can walk down here. Or you can also just take stairs up to the other platform. Then we also have the priority elevator, which does make sense. Okay, now I need to call an elevator, I guess. Oh, okay, this one opened. And yep, L1 and Lobby are the same. This is so cool. Okay, here we are. Oh, that opened quick. And here's what it looks like. Oh, and here's line one. That's very convenient. And this is the last stop of line one, so I guess the other platform isn't even used now. Maybe in the future. Now back to La Sagrera. This is a different older model of train, and this one's only part to walk through. Like it has two sets. Each set is fully walked through, but not the entire train. I also realized that Barcelona doesn't have yellow lines at the edge of platforms, or really tactile lines. There is this, no, I guess that is a tactile line. This is actually very interesting. So everything on this map is fully accessible except for these stations and these connections. Okay, now to line five. Everything to the right. <laughs> so I'm gonna take line five, two stops to Maragall. I also like how they specify that the line nine north service does not go to the airport. In the future, it will. Down we go. So line five is right here, and I guess lines nine and 10, you would have to walk down the line five platform to get there. Look at the speed. really does not pick up the dots well. I like how it's like, oh, this space is reserved for people with suitcases, strollers, and bikes. Um, but not when it's rush hour, then you can just do whatever you want. So now I need to connect to line four, but it seems like the connection inside the station is closed, so I have to go via the street, which is interesting. I think it said 16 months on that last sign back there. That's a lot of closure time. Line four, line four, line four. Oh, just exit, I guess. And this way. I guess they're requiring you to use another ticket, which seems a little weird. It's not very fair, is it? Hopefully the way to line four will be well signposted. Seems like it is. That way, oh, that way, that way. <laughs> it's like a game of follow the arrows. So I just had a really good croissant at this bakery, 365, since I was already outside of the station. And now I'm ready to continue. Okay, I guess I have to cross this way now, still following the arrows. I also realized that this is a bike path. Wow, I still have to keep walking this way. This is a long connection. <laughs> It was probably pretty long underground too, so now that you have to go to the surface and walk, it made it even longer. It also doesn't help that it's boiling. <laughs> Here we are, finally. 
I like how they just covered the section of line four that's closed with a piece of tape or something. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take line four to Trinitat Nova, the last stop. Trinitat Nova is probably right next to Trinitat Vega, which I was on on, the, on line one. Wow, this is an old train, look at this. I still find it incredible that even the old trains are walked through, like, that's insane. I also like how the seats have these little resting backs to them, so you can kind of just lean. Made it to Trinidad Nova. So Trinidad Nova is a very interesting station, because if you look on a map, three lines terminate here, all in the same place. You have line four, line three, and then line 11, which is this kind of mini shuttle service, which I'm gonna take next. This station, at least platform four, is quite different compared to the other stations on line four. It's a little boxier, more open. Not more open, but taller, maybe. Line 11, four minutes, 26. Oh, this is very cool. The platforms are like parallel in line with the line four platforms, but just kind of smaller, because it's a smaller train. So these are platforms four and two. So I guess over there are one and three. Huh, the doors are not automatic. Are these doors not working? Yes, they are. Since this is such a short line, and short train for that matter, I'm gonna ride it all the way to the end and then back. I think that was the shortest time between two stations ever. That was like 30 seconds or less. Ooh, we're like kind of outside. <laughs> so I'm here at the last stop of line 11. Since I'm already here, I might as well exit the station and check out what's outside. Seems to be elevator only on, yeah. There are some stairs here I can walk up. Hopefully it's not too many flights. This is quite a few flights. <laughs> Longer than I thought it would be. Oh, but we're here. There's also, I guess, another exit. I'm just gonna exit here. Actually, never mind. I'm just gonna keep going up. Here we are. Oh, and more. Wow, this is really not what I expected to see. It's like this sort of mountain. There's, it's very dry, there's a lot of apartment buildings. It's very different than the city center. I guess it is the outskirts. There's also a highway over there and some, what looks like some industry down there. It's very interesting. And there's also just a nice, lovely, modern metro. I guess down there is the other metro exit. And then we just have this big highway over here and these lovely dry Spanish hills. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna head back now, and this time I'll take the elevators. Ascension. Uh, down. Vestibule. I like how the control centers, like signaling boxes, are literally in some of the stations. That's kind of cool. You can just see people working. I found a map of the new development. I assume all of these buildings are sort of new. Ascensor, Uh down platform down. seven minutes i guess it is a small shuttle service so fair enough i guess there's also just a train sitting on the other platform which you cannot access it's never used in service so i guess provisions for expansion that's what the other platform is for but the train don't know why it's just sitting there they may use the other platform as like a sidings i'm so sweaty right now it's ridiculous my whole body is water. <laughs> the buses in this area are kind of maniac. Like if you follow like the 62 for example goes here, it goes around here, it goes around here, then it, I don't know, maybe it goes this way or there's also a 62 that goes around here. Like it's all over the place. I love these little mini maps of buses in the zone. Sorry, in the area. I also think it's cool how the stops going towards the city center are in red and the stops that are returning from the city center are in this sort of white color. So you can see which buses you should take and which buses will just circle back to where you started. Also, this is where we are. 
Anyway, now I'm just gonna do a quick teleportation mood to Trinidad Nova, so... Made it! That was a bit of a trip. Anyway, uh, now to line three. Okay, straight. And then I think I have to go down these stairs, even though there's no sign telling me to turn around. I just have to know, I guess. This way. This is a way longer connection than the line four to line 11 connection. It's very deep too. Why did they build line three so deep? Keep going. And here's the platform and I just missed a train, of course. I love the seats on this platform. They're very, uh, I don't know, wiggly. So I'm actually going to take this train to Val de Bron here and change to line five and go one stop because the one stop that I want to go to is very interesting and you'll see why when we get there. Still another four minutes 30 and or so. Midday service is of course not the most frequent. Yeah, so this is the stop that I want to check out and we are here. <laughs> Gotta love a good empty train car. Look at these columns. Made out of steel or plated columns, I don't know. I did like how all the stations on this stretch of line were different. But anyway, now to line five. I like how the sign for line five is like, oh, this is the way to Val de Bron. But we're literally at Val de Bron. Like, we're literally already here. Line five. All the lines are so deep, but I don't know why I'm complaining. Like I'm from DC and the lines are very deep there. Third escalator, soon to be fourth. Oh, can't forget about the fifth one over there. I really wish these stations were air conditioned. I know that would be a lot of money, not great for the environment, but. I don't know, it gets really hot. Imagine this during like rush hour. Anyway, here's the platform and I'm gonna go one stop. This is interesting, there are two different upshafts. One for Trinidad Nova direction and one for the Zona Universitaria direction. There and there, I thought there would only be one. Here we are, El Col La Teixonera and I need to exit now. Well, for one, there's a travelator, which is pretty cool in and of itself. Now an elevator. Now we exit. Now we go down another travelator. This is a ridiculously long time to exit a station. <laughs> so here it is. An escalator just on the street. <laughs> so here's the station entrance that I got out of, but I assume like maybe before this was built, there's this escalator to go up, and it's not covered, and it's just on the street here. It's very interesting. There are probably other places in the world with street escalators, but an uncovered one just kind of here is maybe a little rare. I don't know, but I've never seen one. And the second part. Sadly, there's only like one, so it's going up, which makes sense. But if you want to get down this, you have to just walk down the stairs. At least there's a very, very nice view from the top here. According to this sign, there's also an entrance back into the station this way. There's another open air escalator here. Although this one seems more part of the metro station, but still, I think they're very cool. Now back into the station. I'm gonna take line five back one stop to the station I was at previously, and then I'll change back to line three and go all the way down right to the center of the city to Plaza de Catalunya. So behind me is a little color code or QR code. It's not really a QR code, but it's used with an app. And when you scan that, you can get info on when the next train is, how full it is, and in the future, it seems like they're in a test phase, navigation on how to get to the platform with arrows virtually. Well, that's a little aggressive. Now back up the literal five flights of escalators. You can definitely tell that that Line 5 extension is newer than this. 
I've been buying water from these station vending machines for like two euros, which is definitely a ripoff. I mean, the machines are great, but the price is not so much. <laughs> This next train is probably going to be very full because I've been waiting for like 10 minutes so I think one train got delayed or cancelled or something. I'm here at Catalunya station and I'm going to take a short break. After the break, I will ride the FGC Metro, which they're basically metro lines but run by the FGC, the Ferrocarriles Generalitats de Catalunya. So, see you then! Sorry for that abrupt ending there. Well, editing this video, I realized that it was quite long, and I decided to split it into two parts. The first part ends here, and the second part should be up next week. With that said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!